Bookmap 7.0 has many new and powerful features that promise to deliver unparalleled clarity and transparency in market visualization. Let's take a closer look. In Bookmap 7.0, you will immediately notice the new colored heat map. You'll see the options available from the main toolbar here. Click on the drop down and choose the option you prefer. You can choose the older grayscale heat map if you like, or one of the new colored options. Let's select the middle option here. In this colored heat map, starting from the left, areas of low liquidity are dark gray. As we move right, areas of blue are higher liquidity. Higher still are the white areas and then yellow areas. The orange areas display the highest levels of liquidity in the heat map. The colored heat map is a great improvement over the original grayscale heat map. Let's take a look at it levels of higher liquidity. We'll select the older gray heat map and study the liquidity. You'll note how the monochromatic grayscale heat map gives less distinction in subtle areas of high liquidity. It becomes harder to read. However, if we choose the colored heat map, then we start to notice those levels of distinctions in that higher liquidity. To adjust the heat map, use the same contrast configurations button as before. Click on the small icon here on the toolbar next to its black cutoff slider. This opens the contrast configurations window. Note that the user interface for this window has changed. The main lower and upper cutoff percentages are prominently displayed. Other previous settings can be found under the advanced color map settings. A new and exciting feature in Bookmap 7.0 is connectivity to digital currencies such as Bitcoin through the GDAX exchange. This is an excellent exchange for digital currencies and there is plenty of liquidity compared to competing exchanges. This is a new market for many traders and we are pleased to offer users a completely free version of Bookmap. With this free version, users can subscribe to only one digital currency instrument at a time. Whereas with the paid version, users can subscribe to up to 20 digital instruments at a time and place trades from Bookmap. Please refer to bookmap.com website for more information on pricing details. To connect to digital currencies, access the connections dropdown from the main toolbar. By default, you'll see that connection is already established for GDAX. Therefore, let's simply click on the plus tab here and let's open a digital currency instrument. We'll select the GDAX exchange and then select or type in the symbol we want to access if it's not available from the dropdown. Next, under the advanced options, you can choose the amount of historical depth data you'd like to load. Yes, Bookmap now allows access to historical depth data. I'll explain more about that in just a minute. But let's choose one hour of historical data. So when we open the instrument, one hour of data will begin loading and will be available on the historical chart. Next is the tick size. This refers to the price interval that you will see displayed between each tick. For example, if we choose five, then this instrument will display a unit difference of five between each tick on the price ladder. Next is the size granularity. This refers to the granularity of liquidity displayed within the order book at each price level. For example, if we choose 0.01, then we can see the granularity of liquidity in the book is displayed in the hundreds. Please refer to the Bookmap user guide for further information. As just mentioned, Bookmap 7.0 now offers historical depth data on Bookmap startup launch. Let's take a look at the release notes for Bookmap 7.0. Bookmap offers historical depth data for the last 48 hours. There are three sources of the data. The first source is data recorded by Bookmap on the user's computer. For example, if you're recording your data on your computer and your computer crashes by chance, you can reopen Bookmap and that previous data will automatically load. Thus, you won't lose all your recorded data. 
This is available for all instruments and is free of cost. The second source of data is on bookmap servers. This works only for digital currencies and is free of cost. I just demoed this feature with the previous Bitcoin example. The third historical data source is available through the servers from Dev Experts. They provide historical data for U.S. equities up to 48 hours for free, as well as one free hour of futures data. If you want more historical data on Bookmap Launch, then a small cost is associated with these services. Please look into the details at bookmap.com website or the release notes for Bookmap 7. In general, you'll note there are some changes in the main Bookmap toolbar and user interface. For example, the volume dots and contrast configurations buttons are smaller now, but offer a slider for quick access to change the black cutoff for the contrast configurations and also a slider for changing the volume dot size as well. Let's click on the volume dots tool to open the configuration window. Click here to display the slider on the toolbar. Also the trading configurations button is no longer on the toolbar. It is now located under Settings, Configurations. However, there is now new functionality to quickly access toolbar options by right-clicking in the main bookmap chart window. You can quickly access several tools and options as you can see here. You can also hover the mouse over a specific element in the chart and it will signify what it is and if it's selectable. For example, Hover over the volume dots and note the slight change in color. Now right click on the dots. You can quickly access the specific options for the selected object. A highly requested feature has been the ability to trade from the dome. This feature is now available from the bookmap columns. It enables traders to place, cancel, and modify orders by left clicking in the trading dome. Let's open up a new column by right clicking in a column and selecting Trading Dome from the list here in the column's data types. The new Trading Dome displays. Note there is a main column header for Trading Dome and several small subheaders with various data types. You can right click on the column subheader and note all the different Trading Dome options. Let's select Configure Column. Note there are two distinct sections, Visual Options and Actions. This is a very important concept to understand. You will choose what you want to display in the column, and then you will choose what type of action you want to take within that specific column. Therefore, the Bookmap Trading Dome is highly configurable and any column can be customized in a module like fashion allowing you to build just about any type of dome you desire for example under the bids column in this visual options section we can choose what type of data we want to display then what type of orders we want visible what we want to display in the order book and how we want the data aligned. Next, under Actions, we can choose what type of actions we want to take within this column. You can choose what button to use, then what type of action you want to take. Now let's close this window and start setting some trades in the dome. Note you'll need the one-click trading add-on in order to trade from the dome. I'll left-click here. Note that the Trade Control Panel icon flashes from the toolbar, letting us know it is required to open up the Trade Control Panel. So let's do so. Next, we need to activate the Trade Control Panel by selecting either Chart, Dome, or Both. Let's select Both. Next, we'll select the order size we want to trade. Now we can trade from the Dome. Let's place buy limit orders and buy stop orders by left clicking in the bid column above and below current price. 
Note that the orders are displayed in the orders column. Here I can left click, hold and move the order or left click on it to change the order size. I can also cancel the order by clicking on the red X. These are just a few of the features in the new trading dome. Play around with the options and you'll be able to configure your trading dome unlike any other dome product on the market. There are a few new add-on indicators available in Bookmap 7. Under Studies Configuration, let's select VWAP. A white line displays on the chart. This is the new Historical Volume Weighted Average Price or VWAP indicator. It displays the VWAP of the trading session since you opened Bookmap. Therefore, you can follow the evolution of the VWAP and see how price is reacting to it. Hover your mouse over the line and right click on it. You can edit your VWAP in this manner. Another new indicator is the historical point of control or POC. It represents a price level that has the most traded volume. It is only available in the session accumulated column for either volume, trades counter, or quotes counter. Let's right click in the SVP column and choose Format Column. Let's select the checkbox here to display the POC on the line. A yellow POC line displays on the chart. This allows you to understand how price is behaving historically with the point of control. Another highly requested feature in Bookmap is the ability to connect to a specific data provider but route any trading activity to a different broker or source. For example, you can now connect to DXFeed for US equities and trade from the Bookmap chart but have those trades execute within a live interactive broker's account. There are several other new features in Bookmap 7.0, such as enhanced volume dot cluster price aggregation, increased overall stability, and significant technical performance improvements. As you can see, Bookmap 7 is a significant release filled with many new powerful features that deliver increased market transparency, which gives you an advantage in the marketplace.